Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Beckley's Camping Center. And today, we're gonna go ahead and preview the all new Tab 400 for 2021. If this is the first time joining my or visiting my channel, please do consider subscribing. If there's something in particular you'd like me to review for you, maybe a, uh, show you how to for a particular system, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information as well as the specifications and pricing for this will be just down below this video. So let's get on, let's get on to this camper. So starting up in the front here, basically looks very much the same. They've changed the box up on the front just a little bit, not much, but they've changed it a little bit, giving you more room inside if you choose to put items in there. If you watched my video on the tongue weight, tongue weight's coming on this thing with a full LP bottle at about 380. Your ball height right here, if you're hitching up, ball height is at right at about 20 inches on this Boondock Light Series. So let me show you inside of your LP compartment. So this is the LP compartment. LP bottle compartment. See, so now if you decided you wanted to put an extra LP bottle in here or some other items, you do have room. Another look from another angle. So this is, again, the 2020. Notice how the back is more filled in. So you, if you have things in here, you've got, they're better secured as far as uh, not coming out. Now I've asked, had people ask me, Paul, why, you know, can I put a lock on there? From the RV industry standard, no locks on doors where the LP bottles are located. Hence the reason why that is not a latched uh, box. Now what you do with it, different story, that's up to you. So the spare tire is going to be located in the same location as you can see. Very easy for you to crank it down and be able to get that out from underneath the trailer. That's right here, accessed on the door side. Now looking at the rear, just give you an idea of what you're looking at. Again, still have access to having the, um, the solar panels on the roof. Something they have added is your quick LP connect back here. That way there, while you're camping, you're able to go ahead and connect the grill to that. You're able to get up to 20 feet of hose, so that way there you can choose where you'd like to place your grill or your cooktop. Now you're gonna notice something missing on the 2021 model, and that is the rear camera that was located right there in the license plate bracket. So that is gone on the 2021 models. Now with that being said, before they came out with that camera, we have installed the Furion rear observation cameras for people and we put it up above the window there, put it in between the lights and that does give you good uh, vision for behind your camper. So that is something you can add if you wanted to. You're just tying that into the 12 volt on the running lights. Now you're gonna have your Stabilizer jacks back here, same as before. Nice thing I recommend you do to stabilize it is put some six by sixes or something under it so you, uh, it gives a better base. Just to show you here that you have a gross axle weight rating of 3,900 pounds. However, they have a gross vehicle weight rating of only 3,700 pounds. Now, as you can see here, you have a cargo carrying capacity of 771 pounds. Now included in that 771 pounds is your 249 pounds of water. So it gives you a dry weight for this camper of 2,929 pounds. Now just like their 2020 model, for the 2021 model, you're gonna have the Ketter rails on this side. So in the event that you wanted to put an adder room over here or even like a little uh, canopy, you're able to do that. You know, giving you a little bit more protection from the sun and or additional space for you to hang out at. Now notice, you're gonna notice on the 2021 is they've gone back to the Cool Cat heat pump that's the air conditioner with a heat pump uh, fe feature. Now, 
as I talked about in my weighing the tongue, I, you know, I gave the tongue weight on this is 380 pounds with a full LP bottle. Now something, what they were able to do is, if you remember, back in 2019 when they had the Cool Cat heat pump, this tongue weight on, on this edition was closer to 440 pounds dry weight. What they have done is they've moved the axle three inches forward to lessen the tongue weight. So that is how they have accomplished that with putting the heat, heat pump back up front here again. As you can see with the snaps that are on here, be sure that you cover that when you're traveling down the road and or when you're washing it. You don't want to be spraying water into that Cool Cat heat pump there. You've got the same discharge area for your black and gray tanks located just forward of the wheel here, making it easy for you to access and being able to empty your tanks. Now when you go with the Boondock Light Series, you're going to get the beefier tires. That's going to give you a little bit more ground clearance. Now, taking a look at the Nautilus system that they put in here, this is where you're gonna, they've kind of housed where your fresh water connection is, also your low point drains, and they actually put in your outside shower. So that's all located in one area here, as you can see right here. Now on top of that, they're actually giving you a black tank rinse. Now I'll be doing an actual video showing you how to actually use this system while you're out there on camping. So do stay tuned for that. But this is where you're gonna hook up your city water. You have an outside shower, low point drains, your cable, water pump switch out here. And what they've added was the black tank rinse, which is, this is the black connection right here. Benefit there is you're able to rinse out your black tank after you dump it, which it's gonna, you're gonna, benefit from that keeping your tank clean and I, like I say I'll cover that in another video this is your a light you can set it where it's on off or on sensor so that way when you open the door you'll be able to uh, it'll actually come right on for you nice thing you're going to notice about the door is the door is magnetically held in place and notice how it it's kind of it's like a friction hinge sort of make it a little bit easier for you to utilize on your door side, everything looks very much the same. The only difference you're going to notice is the door, the access door for your storage out here. You've got the handles you need to unlock, and then this thing does magnetically hold in place. So this is the access to inside here. This is also going to have a sensor light in here, and there's your battery disconnect. So looking under the mattresses here, this is what they call the Froley sleep system. It makes it much more comfortable for you to use. And I had mentioned about how you can access your storage. They screw, they do secure it down. Of course, it's up to you if you want to remove those screws and make it so you can access it while you're in here. That is totally up to you. They've made it a little bit easier for you to lift up this panel. If you remember in 2021, this is where the air conditioner is. And notice how they have the strut which holds this door up making it easier for you to put things away and take things out. Now something they have done different for 2021 as well is now you, you do not have, it's actually secured there, that panel, that is where the Aldi system is located. Again, if you wanted to be able to get to that, you could always take the screws off and remove that panel. The batteries are going to be located back here in the center section for out front outside there so that's where you're going to have your two six volt AGM batteries. Now as you can see the outside light is pretty much the same yellow but they did change the step. Now something with this step here is you can see you have a little blue light here and when you put the step away as you can see the light goes off. Boondock handle same as before Makes it nice and easy for you to grab as you're coming in or going, coming out of the camper. Now I did mention on the other side about the Keter rail. So what you have is you can get what just what they call is a canopy, uh, which would be like an awning, or you can get like a screen room or a, what they call an add a room 
extending your uh, hanging out or you know your roominess of this camper because that way there it's the, it is an actual add a room you can actually have people if need be sleeping out in an enclosed area out here next to the camper and also by having that it also gets you an opportunity to kind of get out of the sunshine maybe get in some shade or maybe it's raining so you're able to actually still enjoy the outdoors without getting wet So the door it locks the same way you have the lock it's up here and then of course to come out you're just going to push down on that the window again the same screen there and same little cubbies as well as if you want to have this as a little trash can holder nice thing is you're able to take this off as you can see and take it make it easier for you to get the stuff out of there in the event or clean it up if you have to And of course, what would a camper be without a fire extinguisher? That way there, in the event you need it, it's always right there. Now, of course, for those of you that might be uh, need electrical, maybe to be cooking, or maybe listening to some tunes or whatever, you do have the 110 outlets right out on the outside of your door side of the camper. Now I'll link this down below, but I actually, back about a year and a half ago, I actually went to New Camp and videotaped them actually building the materials behind the scenes as well as going down the line so you can actually see where these components are put. So I'll link that down below if you'd like to take a look at that because there in that video I'm also talking about the benefits of this laminated wall. They're using the composite panels, they use the Asdale, and what that does for you is in the event of leakage into the walls and so, or ceilings and so forth, it's not going to absorb the water. It's also 50% lighter than Luon, and it is also adds additional uh, insulation properties for your camper, and that's benefiting you from the standpoint of keeping cooler when you're running the air conditioner or warmer when you're running your heater. As you're going in the door there, you can see that the screen actually tucks nicely behind there. Most people, if they don't know that it's there, they don't know that it's there. You actually, nice thing is though, is the way that it looks, you can actually see it. So you're not going to have somebody accidentally walking through that, or hopefully you're not. Maybe one of your four-legged friends, but you can actually see that it, the screen is in place. Now, of course, the benefit of having that screen like that is that way there on a beautiful day like today, you can actually leave your door open and enjoy that fresh air. So let me give you a little preview of the interior. This is from the bedside, looking at it. Looking back at the bed area. Pretty much the same as it was before. Cabinet color has pretty much stayed the same, but I'll go over the changes with that there. The dinette area. And lastly, of course, the bathroom. Your kitchen area. Now your bed bed back here is about 55 inches wide, so it's front to back. Side to side, you're 79 inches long, so it's just an inch shorter than a queen bed. Now I like the fact that they've moved the inverter switch back here by the bed. Benefit to you there is that while you're in bed, if for some reason you you, you want to shut the inverter off, maybe you don't need it during the evening, or you want to, and then gives you the ability to turn it back on in the morning. And of course, you still have your 110 as well as your USB 12 volt uh, plugs here. Now, this outlet is actually going to be able to run through your inverter. So that's right here, back by the bed. That's that little cubby there. You're going to notice you're going to have the air conditioner duct back here still and your stereo speaker. These lights here, nice thing about the lights is first time you touch them it's blue, next next time if you touch them it goes off, but if you push and hold it, that's where you have a reading light. So that's how they operate. The light behind that board right there, 
that's going to be right down in this area so that'll actually turn the lights on and off right behind that board where your little blue lights are now of course for your entertainment purposes here we do have the uh, your TV here stereo speakers up above it so that if you're watching movies you're able to have that surround right back here in the bedroom area if need be now they kind of changed the stereo system here it's gonna be Bluetooth but then you see you have an HDMI as well as USB and what that allows you to do is if you want to plug in another system so that you can watch movies you're able to do that so you can listen to it through your speakers now you do have speakers for the front as well as the back now if you choose to have the standard little 12 volt refrigerator here little refrigerator freezer as you can see nice little uh, ice maker in there for you as well if you choose to have that this refrigerator then what you're gonna get is on this side you're gonna get this nice big drawer cubby hole down below as well as the nice big closet and the nice thing with the closet you can see that light just came on you have one of those other sensor light again you can set it for motion off or on all the time but a good size storage area for you down below the closet you have a nice large drawer that pulls out notice how well he well built this drawers is this is I mean high high-end quality cabinets that you typically see in in homes they also have the boat like I call boat like as you can see the latches so that way there as you're traveling you can be assured of the doors and your drawers not opening up now you also have three other drawers on your in your kitchen area this one of course your silverware and you can always pull that out to get below it but that's good storage there again nice little lock to keep them in full extension drawer glide for the second one as well and then you have a third one that is down below your refrigerator now that for those of you that have never uh, heard of the Aldi system before or maybe don't understand how it works take a look at my video it's the of how the tab is actually put together the tab 400 and you'll see where what I call the radiators are put and what you're going to be doing is it is going to be a very quiet system so you barely hear anything going other than maybe some glycol uh, running through some lines and so forth but what happens is back here on the bed end back behind the back here behind this part here you're going to get heat that radiates up through there so that's going to heat radiate the back side of the camper you're also going to get some heat radiating up under your cabinets here as well as in your kitchen so that's what those carved off points are heat is also going to radiate back through these holes up through here there's actually a radiator that's back behind this cabinet and then the last part well you actually have two more radiators one's going to be up in the front here and they've changed it a little bit of course you can see the carved out parts down on the bottom of the cabinet here but then they've put some holes right up top there right up in this area and heat is going to radiate up through that area so this is for the living area now let me show you the bathroom so when you're running your heater the heat's going to be actually be coming out of this area here as well as it's going to be radiating down below your shower pan keeping the bathroom nice and toasty for you now they made a little change with the cooktop they want this Dometic two burner and notice how that lifts up and that's going to protect your window treatments there but it's a two burner and notice how now they have a automatic sparker which is going to light your burners for you so that's a two burner makes it quite nice and easy for you to clean up as well same Dometic sink that they had well I say Dometic sink it's really the cover that is but there you go that is what the sink looks like be careful when you're using this this actually pulls out when you're using it make sure that this isn't up too high because that pressure will come right over the sink there and get all over the floor 
So be careful with that. Take a look here. Notice how they put a GFI protected outlet. Nice thing with that is it's down low, so you're able to plug in your coffee pot, your toaster oven, things of that nature. Now that GFI is more than likely going to be on for the outlets on the outside, so in the event that they weren't working, that is the first place you check. And then right here in the kitchen below the cabinets, this is where your breakers and fuses are. So this will be another area that you would check in the event that you've lost power. But notice how they're easily accessible. They're very um, nice, nicely labeled, both the fuses and your breakers, so you know what is what. So now with your Cool Cat heat pump, they changed something a little bit. So now you have a vent here, and then you have a vent up in the front there, as well as a vent back in the bedroom area. So no longer do you have the vent blowing cold air from the front of the bed. So if you call, recall last year, they actually had a vent right there coming below the bed blowing this direction. Now with that Cool Cat heat pump, be sure that you check and clean off the air filter for that uh, air conditioning system. Let me show you how that's done. So the first thing you do is you remove the cushions and then you're going to reach up in here and then it's just right here that you're going to be able to pull. This is your filter. Clean it off, let it dry out, and then you're just going to be dropping it right back down. There's an actual slot there and be sure to get it in the actual slot. I'm trying to do it one-handed here. There it goes. And it's that easy for you to clean off that air filter. So check that. I would say, I would tell you to do it after every use to ensure that you uh, do actually clean it. So as you can see, this is what this table does fold down. And because you have a little cutout here in this window area, there's actually some storage back here. So you can store some small items. Of course, the window does have a shade, and there's your glycol, where you're able to check the glycol system for you. But because of that, you can see that gives you a few more inches for your feet up when you make this a bed. So the length of that bed is going to be 74 inches in length, and then you're 30 inches at the smallest point, which is up on this area here. Now, to make this a bed, what you have to do is this leg folds right there. And then it'll just it just bends. And what you're gonna be doing is pushing, you're gonna be pushing on both of these. You have one on either side. It's a lot easier if you have two people, you can have one person sit on each side because you want to lift up this side here a little bit, take some pressure off. It comes off, you bend the leg, and then you can actually clip it, as you can see, down on the one down on the bottom. But the cool thing is I like the fact that you actually have the releases on the top, making it much easier to make that a bed if need be. And then you have the cushion that'll just go right on top of the table when you fold it down, giving you, you know, filling in that area to make it a pretty comfortable bed for a smaller person. As you come in the door here, this is where you're gonna, this is the Aldi system, so you'll be able to turn it on here. Now this will run on 12 volt power using propane if need be. So you're able to see that you can turn on, this is for hot, for your hot, this will be for hot water, this will be the electric part, so you can, you can um, choose your electric if you're plugged in, and then of course your propane would be this part. Up here you're setting your temperature for the furnace. Then of course you have your settings buttons, so you go through and set a bunch of different things if you wish to. But make sure that somebody goes through that with you the day you pick it up so you thoroughly understand it. My customers could just call me if they forget how to do that and I could just walk them right through it. You have, of course, for your Cool Cat heat pump, you have a thermostat right here, making it very easy for you to utilize that. So you have two different ways of heating in here if need be. You have electric, um, well, you have two different electrics. You have the Cool Cat heat pump, so maybe in uh, weather, maybe 50 degree weather and maybe upper 40s, you might choose to do that. But let's say you're not plugged into power, you can always turn to the Aldi system and just use the propane. Of course, you easily your water pump switch here, which I showed you was outside as well. You have a sink light, so you have the sink lights right here. You have the accent lights. Now the accent lights are right here, as well as above your cabinet. 
and as you can see up in the front here makes it quite nice when you're camping to give you indirect lighting and then of course that porch light which I showed you which was yellow now right above that this is where you're gonna be able to check your battery fresh water black as well as your gray water as you can see the battery we're gonna need to charge it right now we're at two-thirds full so that is right as you come in the door making it easy for you to go ahead and get things set you got one place basically to go get everything checked and set up now this does have the Dometic fantastic fan nice thing with this fan you can either have the air being blown directly in here or pulling through the benefit of having it be able to pull down and through here is that way there if um, you don't want to open a window you don't have to now the other benefit you can do if you do want to pull air through but you will still want to be secure one thing you can do on the windows is you actually have two places you can latch these and I don't know if anybody has ever shown you this but if I push this out ever so slightly as you can see right here now I'm latched in the middle and so if I latch all of these right here in the middle what's happening is the window is open a little bit so that air can pull through giving you some nice air circulation but then you still have the window closed be sure that before you move that you pull these in and make sure that they're latched properly all the way in you don't want one of these windows to come off as you're going down the road so as you can see because of the dark caddis behind there you're just going to see shadows if you have that screen up during the day and keep in mind also on this side here if you had that outer room or the canopy that's going to give you a little bit more protection and privacy as well so now for those of you who may not know that this part is this is your privacy shade so in the evening or even during the day if you want to have a private you can pull these put this up now if you want to have be able to see out during the day I mean it's a clear window but if you want to have be able to see out during the day maybe people won't be able to see everything looking through you can pull the screen down that'll give you some privacy because of the dark cabinets behind me people looking in um, are basically going to see shadows as long as you have again the other windows where you don't have too much light coming in now the light here forward of this fantastic fan here you have several different settings the first one you can just have as a blue light then it has three more settings here light lighter brightest so that is the light right here in the kitchen area now you might remember that they had a light over top of your dinette here they've changed that and this is actually a brighter light you have two settings on that and that's actually a better light for that area versus the one that they had last year so once again they've moved the outlets up here in the dinette area moved them over this area I think it's an, a nice move on their part in the event that you're using this as a bed but it's a little bit easier for you to get to you can use this even if you're used for the dinette so you have both 12 volt as well as 110 that's going to also run on the inverter if need be now down under the dinette area this is your co carbon carbon uh, monoxide detector as well as your propane lp leak detector and i did have a customer ask me and said paul is it gonna be a problem my dog lays under the dinette is that going to set it off and i said no not necessarily now there is a chance that in the event that your dog maybe has a gas issue that that actually could set it off but I think you're gonna know the difference between that and an LP leak I like the fact that they've moved this the smoke detector is up in the front here out of the way of your kitchen area so less chance that's going off inadvertently now the microwave is an option if you don't get the microwave then you're gonna have that extra storage uh, door there and as you can see the doors they open up nice and high notice how I don't have to hold it up with my head while I'm putting things in and pulling things out it's a soft closed style door and then you have a nice little cubby back behind it so you can store some things in there as well so that's the storage completes the storage area for your kitchen 
Now earlier I gave you kind of a sneak preview of the uh, sh bathroom, your shower, toilet. This is a wet bath. You know, you have the curtain, curtain rod. It does go all the way around, as you can see. So it's going to be going all the way around. And people say, well, Paul, what am I supposed to do with that when I'm not using it? You see how they put a little hook back behind the toilet so you can keep it out of the way for you. Again, you have a window, nice port window there. And you do have the privacy shade if you wish. It's the foot pedal toilet. And for those of you that saw, we actually did install a airhead um, composite toilet for a customer. Notice how you keep your toilet paper nice and dry for those of you who can get toilet paper. Then of course here is your sink. And this does actually fold down. Remember again basically the same faucet as in your kitchen. Make sure this thing's not up like this when you pull that on because you will have water everywhere. Now you do have two lights inside your bathroom. You have a light here as well as this light switch that'll be the light back behind your cabinets. And then of course for those that need it you also do have a 110 GFI protected outlet. So that is in the bathroom. Now lastly what I want to go over is you do have the fan. Now all you need to do on the fan is you just need to open it and then it just turns on. And again that is a 12 volt fan so you're not needing to be plugged into power as long as you have one I mean, as long as you have uh, 12 volt power. Now if you need to you can also hang some towels and so forth in here. Nice little hangers up out of the way for you. That is in the bathroom. And as you can see, there is a mirror on the door. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The all new, brand new 2021 Tab 400 by New Camp RV. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching. Any comments, please do give me down, down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the changes. You liking them or you're not liking them. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.